Dear Felonopsis right here was given to me by my doctor, my physician. I went to his office and come to find out he has orchids and honey mama has a reputation of bringing them back. So they gave it to me about a month ago and told me if I could bring it back, honey, that I am really who I say I am. <laughs> But um, in actuality, um, this orchid isn't as bad as it looks. It just was in desperate need of a new home. It was never repotted, and it was in there with that nasty sphagnum moss, honey. So um, inside of this jar is some ra rainwater that um, I placed a little bit of that kelp seaweed in to help hydrate this plant as well as um, to get it to uh, reproduce me some new roots. Okay, now this orchid right here, I've had for um, quite some time and it has been very stagnant for quite some time. I have done everything that I could to try to get it to get some new roots, but um, in actuality, Fab Pals, you wanna put on some gloves while you handle um, orchids that may be diseased or have any type of fungal infections. But what happened was in the crown of this phalaenopsis, I am not adamant, but I am taking an educated guess that I might have mistakenly put just a little bit of that cinnamon inside of it. And I say that because um, as soon as I finally washed it out, I did start to get new leaf growth. However, this baby needs some new roots, honey. So look at this, fail pals. Look at this. So we are going to try something different with this one right here, okay? But you have to stay tuned. Okay, Fab Pal, so below are some of the things that I will need, which will be my shears that I have disinfected with some um, alcohol, okay? And you will definitely need some hydrogen peroxide to spray some of those roots. So I'm going to get this baby on up out of here and get to see what we are dealing with. The one viable root right here, it was actually in um, a better condition when they gave it to me. They were growing two area roots growing out of the pot looking for a new home, honey. But um, this, um, the root production has stopped because the tip of it is no longer green, okay? So, um, what I am going to do is, this is an old flower stalk right here. I definitely want to cut that off. Okay. I don't really like cutting roots anymore, so what I am going to try to do is, as you can see, pull that coating off of it. At least until I can get it to grow some new roots, because Fab Pals, what I am starting to see is that um, the dead matter definitely encourages um, mold. Okay, this part won't come off, so I'm gonna cut it. Now, fail pals, while I go through this baby, I want you, uh-oh. I want you guys to um, make sure that you watch my video, How to Make America Beautiful Again, because us as humans have to do something, honey, in the next 10 years in order for our children to have a sustain sustainable planet to live on, okay? Each one, teach one, honey. We got to do our part. At least I'm trying to make it fun and maybe get somebody some coins or something of that effect, okay? So this orchid actually was soaking um, for hours, hours, at least um, five hours it soaked. So this is going to be the finished product. Now, Fab Pals, I am going to spray her with some hydrogen peroxide, okay? And I see that this right here is black. So um, I'm going to get my toothbrush and do just a little scrubbing and get my tweezers and see if I can get some of this dead matter to come off, okay? So, first I'm gonna spray her really good. So the next thing that I am going to do is, I have my toothbrush, I'm just gonna give it just a little squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Very gently, honey, very gently. 
because she is such a little baby orchid. I did uh, wet the toothbrush before I did this. guys have not seen my black mold video I highly suggest that you do because that is going to be a very important step of making sure that when your orchids do start to develop new root production that it will actually um, not get stunted when it runs into uh, mold and so what I'm doing is just basically making sure that I'm getting all of the dead matter off Clean, just cleaning it as good as I can. So now I'm going to get the tweezers and see if I can pull this off because I'm going to start water culture on her. And once I do water culture, um, this right here sitting in water will definitely produce mold. completely black and so that just makes me feel a little hectic cut that off give it a spray again Okay, foul pals. So I am going to um, um, dip her into some plain um, rainwater and then I'm going to put her in a vase and I'll let you see the finished product after we work on the next one. Stay tuned. Thank you for staying tuned, foul pals. So up next is my orchid that is truly the problem child, honey. Now I left her roots um, dry because she has been really dealing with that white mold. And for that reason alone is why I said that I had to um, get these roots as clean and as possible. So what I am going to do, and because she has been dehydrated forever, as far as um, just these leaves will not plump up to the capacity that I want them to. So I'm going to sit her into some Epsom salt and rainwater after um, I do the best that I can to try to keep down this white mold. So I'm just gonna sit that right there and let it fizz for a second. And I had to uh, re-disinfect all of my utensils that I will be using. So in the meantime, I will get my um, water prepared for her, so stay tuned. Okay, foul pals, so this is my rain water and kelp. Now, before I um, pour this in here, I did go ahead and put a little bit in my mist bottle so I can start foliar feeding my sink. Dehydrated and rootless phalaenopsis. <laughs> okay, foul pals, so now that I let it fizz for a second and it's still fizzing, um, the toothbrush is already pre-moistened, so I'm just going to still put it inside of the leftover peroxide and get the um, get the scrubbing. Now I know I'm a little bit more 
rough with this one and that's because this is my problem child she gets on my nerves like girl i done had you this long and you not trying to live your best life like anybody else what's the tea so i actually see that i'm pulling apart the um matter that i'm trying to get off so i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to pull it off instead of letting it break up on me while I scrub it with the toothbrush. See, all that right there looks like some roots that probably tried to come out, but was stunted because it had so much white mold on it, okay? Now, if you guys have not seen my videos on white mold, I will leave an info card above, darling. Yes, I will. Yes, I will, honey. Now, fail pals, like I said, please go out and make America beautiful again by picking up trash from trashy areas, okay? You need to start working on a way to recycle items that we use for our orchids. So all of my new beginners and new growers, honey, keep all of your old plastic pots, not those flimsy ones, but the ones that are sturdy enough to reuse. Typically, the kind that come from the company Just Add Ice. Now, foul pals, because I can't, some of these roots, I can't not get the, okay, okay, yes, I can. And hopefully this work. I saw someone on Facebook um, that did this and said that her roots grew back a lot faster this way than um, it would have with her cutting all of her roots completely off. And me, myself, when I first started doing water culture, I would cut all of the roots off, and that was not very good, okay? Because the orchid has to have some type of way of maintaining itself. And I would definitely let you guys know if this works or not. Now, if you have um, someone on YouTube that has a channel and you feel um, as if they are the best with reviving Phalaenopsis orchids, please leave their name below. So, honey, if I decide to do my sick, dehydrated, and rootless Phalaenopsis, if I choose to do that challenge, I need to know who to challenge, darling. Okay? Also, Fab Pals, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the People's Channel, darling. Um, in addition, I am on Facebook. My Facebook group is called Fab Pal. Um, also, Instagram, Orchids for Dummies. The number four, okay? Orchids for Dummies, honey. Look me up. You guys know I don't know anything about that technology. But mama is trying to learn. She's trying to learn so she can reach these young kids, honey, and let them know, honey, you have to have some appreciation with Mother Nature because everything is not about a new, a new house and a new car, honey, okay? Everything is not about a new house and a new car, new generation. So now that I have taken everything off, the next thing that I'm going to do is, as I said, emerge her into this water and I'm going to let her soak for some hours, okay? And after I soak her for um, some hours, then I am going to start her um, water culture and foliar feeding her as I've been um, doing. But Fal Pals, stay tuned and I'll show you end result for my other Fal Pals. Fal Pals, I am going to leave her in this glass container um, starting tomorrow because I've already done so much to her. I am only going to fertilize her maybe um, once a week, but predominantly I would get, use just pure rainwater on her, okay? And um, I will be monitoring her to make sure that she does not start to develop any type of mold. And um, I will keep you guys staying tuned. Until next time!